Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Let's Play Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. So if you guys have never played this game, this was a GameCube game back in the day that basically lets you play the Quidditch game. And you could even go on to basically up to the point to where um, in the movie you see them playing against the, te the, the country teams like Ireland, Spain, all these other com uh, places. And you can basically choose your, um, after beating the main um, Quidditch uh, game here at Hogwarts, you can go on to actually beating, choosing your own team and competing on a international level. So I played the crap out of this and I did the Ireland team and I love this. I don't think I ever beat the game, but I loved playing this. So we are going to play Hogwarts. This is my first time playing this, so we are going to have to go through all of the stuff. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now that you're here, you can choose which of the four house teams you'd like to take through to the Quidditch Cup. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, or Slytherin. Once you've chosen a team, you can guide them through a series of house challenges. And if you're successful in these challenges, then your team should have enough skills to compete in the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup. Who knows, you might even win it. Over to you, Wood. Right. So we're just going to skip that because it's basically talking about the basics of the game. So we're going to select Gryffindor because that's what I always go with. Congratulations on choosing Gryffindor. Let's, let's go. So I'm going to try to do a series of this, guys, because I do want to get to the uh, world thing. So I already know how to play the game, but I think... Oh, no, I need to go through I'm this. Angelina Johnson. I was going to say I'm going to just skip all of the tutorial, but you have to play through it. I already know how to pass and everything like that. Like, I... Back in the day, not to blow my horn, but I kicked the shit out of everybody on this game. This, but this is an easy is game. It started getting tricky when I played on international. Played the nationals. Hi there, Harry here. Oh, damn it. To pass the quaffle, press the action button. Use the broomstick control to direct your path. There you go. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that was bad. Basically, you have to get it through all the green hoops. I didn't do that good. Excellent! A new Quidditch card. Passing challenges. So, save and continue. So we're just gonna save our game. Brilliant! We've won our first Quidditch card. The more yeah. cards we win, the more our team will be able to do. So yeah, that's basically about coll doing collections, but I'm not doing a collection. Right, next one, tackle and shoot. My name's Katie Bell. And <laughs> like how you could just cut, <laughs> like how you could just cut them off and then just be like, all right, get get to go, get going to what we got to do. Because I already know how to play this, but. This is it's a been, one -on -one it's been years since I've played this. One of your chasers and a ghost. Edgar Cloggs is the ghost in question, and he's been hanging around the Quidditch pitch for as long as anyone can remember. <laughs> Quidditch Edgar bitch. was obviously a pretty like good Quidditch, Quidditch bitch. player in his day, and he's going to be flying around the pitch with the quad that, trying you. to avoid your chaser. The aim of the challenge is to tackle Edgar, take the quaffle from him, and throw it into one of the gold hoops. Oh shit, I forgot he got the Edgar will, of course, not only try to prevent your chaser from gaining the quaffle, but will also try to prevent them from scoring. Yep, thank you. Hi there, Harry here. Just a quick reminder, oh, you press the action here. button to tackle, here, and the shoot button when you're in range of the goal hoops. Don't you even Good do Good luck. You going, oh, you're going to that one? Well, no! What did it? I had... Give me that. Yeah. Like I said, guys, it's been years since I've played this, so that. Thank you. It's so quick to actually just take the. Whoa! He tried to take it from me. Ye ah, I got it. Come here. That's mine. And ooh, he almost got it that time. You're not Excellent. quick enough. A new Quidditch card. Tackling shooting challenge results. I mean, we're gonna win Quidditch cards every time, so. Yes. Yep. Save the game. 
I'm making sure I save because back in the day, guys, this is around the same time that I first started playing. This was back in 2006 when I played this. Um, I didn't have a uh, a um, I didn't have an S not SD card, but I didn't have a save card um, for my GameCube, so I wasn't able to save the game. So I basically had to play through the game all the way through. My name's Harry Potter. Um, in one go, basically, because I couldn't save my game. But I loved pl playing this game, guys. This makes me want to watch the Harry Potter series again, which hopefully I can do. Um, I'm gonna need, I need to see if there's actually any playing for Christmas. A golden snidget has escaped from a snidget reservation. And because I'm a seeker, I've been asked to catch it. Since when does this a snidget look like a bird? You'll see that Potter must follow in the slipstream of my broom as we pursue the golden oh, snidget. Yeah. This is so good oh, oh, God. enough power to boost himself into position and therefore catch the snidget. Uh, come on! Has enough uh. boost, Peel off and leave grabbing the snidget to him. Use the action button to give yourself a speed boost. And when you're close enough, grab that snidget. I think it's a saying snidget, not a snitch. Great! Some new Quidditch cards. So that's basically how we catch a snitch during the, the match. But we're going to have another team on our back, so... It's going to be trickier. Go ahead and save once again. Sorry if I have to keep saving, guys. I'm just making sure that I can keep my progress going. But I definitely want to do a series of this. Because I'm going to enjoy it. Brilliant effort! You've been successful in your first three house challenges. And you're now ready to play a real Quidditch match. Only the team with the most points can win. Yeah. Versus ready Ravenclaw. for a match against Ravenclaw, are you? We'll see just how ready you really are. Let's <laughs> play for the Quidditch Cup. Right, here we go, guys. Let's go. Hello, this is Lee Jordan commentating from an excited stadium here at Hogwarts. My good friend and ardent Quidditch fan, Seamus Finnegan, joined me for today's game time. between how convenient. Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. Thank you, Lee. I'm looking forward to seeing these two teams fight yourselves. Madam Hoot will referee today's match. Well, she always does. She's always the ref. Here we go. Let's get it. The match begins. Is that? Thank you. That's it over. Passes it off. Oh. Look at that. Gets the loose ball. Look at that. With the pass. Trying to basically switch it around. That Spin one. It. Oh, I got it. Come here. That's mine. Watch and learn, kids. Watch ah. And now it does get tricky stopping. occasionally. No, it's no, not. She flips it. Shots it. Ah, come here. Steals the quaffle. <laughs> I haven't even scored yet. Yes. First one. And then they got the twins. Just so weird. Alright, passing. And that. Oh. I remember the one time where I quit. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I was aiming for the other one. I forget that by using my control stick, I'm also aiming at the which hoop I'm aiming for. So if I'm going forward, I'm aiming upwards. Ah, oh, damn it. Come here. I gotta try to get it a hundred. Damn it. it. Oh, come on. Give me that. Oh, I've been really tricky. Well this is tricky. I don't remember this first match being so tricky. Yes. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so weird. Twenty to nothing. Woo! There you go. <laughs> I forgot about that. She goes, yeah! It just shakes her head. 
like I said, guys, when I first played this, like, half the time when I was playing, the other team did not score a single point. At least for the the four main houses that I played against. But when I get to international level, that's when it gets trickier. And this is against an AI, but I don't... I think after you actually uh, beat all of the main houses, you can actually choose a difficulty setting. And you can choose your team. Whoo! I got a Quidditch card for that one. Damn, they got close to, to picking it up, but they didn't. You do earn some kind of points for when, um, like, when they start tackling and take your ball from you. She takes the shot. Yep, you know, that's a good one. Like that, thank you. Passing. Oh, nope, that's mine. Spin it, picks it up. Work. But it's still a fun game, guys. It's still fun as hell. Pass it up. That's her. Oh, whoops. I did that a little too quick. Still no sign of a snitch. That's Oh, come on, hang on, hang on. Don't pass the line. What's that? Johnson. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Give me that. Thank you. That's mine. Passing. Passing. Shooting. Boom. I'm trying to make it like a three, a three uh, move uh, process. Like pass once, pass twice, and then shoot. Ah. Yeah. That. Thank you. Pass. Pass. Shoot. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Finally got it. She's got to 100. Yeah. One shot. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good animation. But the other ones are just goofy as hell. But this game was made in like 2005, I think. So, but I gotta say for this game, it's not bad. Pass that off. Shoot! Yeah. Three part. Three part. Three step process. I'm telling you, that's how to do it. Pass. Shoot! Oh, I didn't see that one. I was I was going too fast. Come on, one more one more shot. Nope. They are not gonna cross. I don't even let them cross the line. That's a thing. Hurt. Shoot it up. Yeah. Now we might be ready for the, for the snitch. No. Nope. Maybe. One more. One more. That's one. That's two. Shoot. Boom. Let's go. And time for the snitch, I think. Maybe. Yep. Here we go. Oh yeah, we've got we've got a way better chance of getting this thing. Here we go. Come on. Get it, 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 get it. Come on. Come on. I'm holding A. Come on. Get it. Come on. See, it's a lot trickier in the match. Yes! Got it. It's over! Yes. Great game. We won our first game. Oh, God. Oh. At least they show good sportsmanship. All right. So that was <laughs> 290 to nothing. <laughs> it's so funny how bad they are. But I mean, they are, they are AI, but I'm not saying I'm good at this or anything. But I, like I said, it's going to be easy for right now, but later on it's going to get trickier. So shots, 20, 19 shots, 14 goals. Oh, yeah, that's right. We haven't. That's right. You can switch between bludgeoning and stuff like that, but we have to do that in the next one. They're going to teach us about the bludgeon and stuff like that.
Because the bludger is going to, uh, someone's going to try to hit, knock out the, uh, the goalie, basically. And that's the next tutorial we got to go through. Alrighty, guys, well, that is going to do it for this episode of Harry Potter, um, Quidditch World Cup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more of, of this, league. well, yeah, we just won our first game. So, anyways, um, if you guys want to see me do more of this series, let me know, in the, or give the video a like. I'm sorry, guys, I forgot about that. Yeah, like the video if you want to see me do more of this. I'm probably going to play more of this anyways because this is a really fun game to play. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.